e-commerce is a very cash intensive business. Can both of you just really briefly mention how much funding you've taken on um, and whether you've used that to invest in inventory? Yeah, so um, uh, we, we look at obstacles as opportunities. Um, so for us it's the same thing uh, in the region because um, again, if it was very easy to set up a business Business, then it's going to be very easy to replicate and copy that business, and that's not something that we we uh, we like for for a player to come in and easily replicate uh, the business because then it, it, it's not as challenging, it's not as exciting, um, um, uh, you know, unless that competitor is a, a real competitor and a, and a real player. Uh, so all of the challenges that that we're facing and uh, all these companies are facing, whether it's uh, uh, COD, uh, whether it's uh, logistics returns, uh, we see this as a barrier to entry, and uh, uh, and it's an exciting challenge, uh, exciting problems for uh, for us to solve, and we're not afraid of it. Uh, yes, it probably will require uh, more fun funding, let's say, as as the uh, average uh, startup would re require in our kind of business somewhere in Europe and the United States, because we effectively have to finance our growth, and as uh, Ronaldo mentioned, we've become almost a bank. Uh, uh, because we, we are lending uh, terms to, to our customers, but again, I think again this is uh, this is what makes this region very exciting. The, 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 the company and the entrepreneur, or the companies and the entrepreneurs that will solve these issues, uh, at the end of the day, will have that that uh, first mover advantage. Um, uh, and and uh, with, with regards to funding, uh, Marca VIP has raised uh, uh, close to twenty two million dollars uh, uh, so far. Uh, uh, which is significant, uh, uh, and then we're putting that money uh, to use. And our investors are very happy with the results that we've uh, been delivering uh, so far, uh, and uh, we, we're heavily investing in, in our technology, our customer care, and our logistics uh, infrastructure. So, I mean, uh, for us, uh, again, the focus has always been on the customer. Uh, We've been lucky to have a good leadership position in the market, and those challenges that Ahmad alluded to are, we just look at them as opportunities, and we're, we've been dealing with them for a long time, and it's part of our DNA, so uh, we just know how to manage and we manage them. In terms of funding, uh, initially, as you know, um, Jabbar Group, which was a spin-off after the Maktoub deal with Yahoo, put in an investment in Souq. We've gone through a round after that. That and now recently with uh, Tiger uh, Global and Nasfers, a sizable investment, putting the deal size very close to what Mac2 would have been, or a bit maybe around that figure. Uh, so we're very excited about that. Uh, the terms of the deal, due to the Nasfers is a traded company and the term sheets that we have, we don't really disclose it, but the amounts are going to help us invest in improving our customer service, product selection expanding our fashion vertical that we launched just before, uh, improving the warehouses that we have in the distribution center. But in general, our model, our stocks that we keep, we optimize that in a way that really into the inventory that we keep. That is maybe valid for certain categories, but other categories you might have to invest a little bit in, in inventory so you're able to fulfill the product faster, and we just have that combination. And can you share any insights on who your buyers are? Um, In terms of the customer, like their age and demographic, Ahmed might have that data. Exactly. Age, demographic, who's buying? Um, I mean, it's, it's, um, it's the typical uh, customer that is between the ages of 18 to 24. 60% uh, of the time will be female, 40% uh, of the time uh, Will be male. Um, uh, an idea. Uh, our top customer to date has spent over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on uh, on Marca VIP. So that's another metric for you. I'm still waiting for the face-off part. By the way, that's what I signed up for. But it doesn't seem like it's happening. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, that, that's that's um, that's our customer. Um, it's those young, uh, savvy, uh, connected uh, uh, youth. Uh, you know, all, all over the Middle East, all over the Arab world, uh, uh, you know, that are on Facebook, that are that are very big on social, on Twitter, uh, and then uh, we, we try to we try to capture, we try to market these people as as, uh, as much as we can by no, by by basically following their trends on, on the internet, following what what kind of pages uh, 
they're visiting, uh, what kind of uh, you know music they're listening to, what kind of celebrities they're trying to uh, emulate, uh, and, and yeah. Ronaldo, can you also speak to those metrics? So Ahmed said 60%. So oh. Did he say 60% male or female? I didn't get that. I couldn't hear him. Female. Female. So, I mean, our hours are just flipped because I think we're in health and beauty maybe are bigger. So, we have 60 to 65, depending on the market, that are. Uh, that are male versus 35. Of course, on Sukkar and the fashion properties, that could be similar to Marka VIP. Our age also, we've managed to get a bit uh, an older client base. I think our baskets are bigger, the handsets and the laptops and whatever the customers buy on Sukh seems to be a bit maybe more expensive. And uh, so our ages go up to 35. Uh, um, some ads, uh, I mean, some also targeting, we do up to even a little bit older than that because I think now e-commerce is becoming a bit more mainstream than before. So initially we saw what Marka VIP saw, that more of the buyers were younger and that is changing, which is a good sign because the income, as you know, with the age grows a bit. Uh, so a bit slightly different metrics than, uh, than uh, Marka VIP.